thing in the mayor's office, the Detroit City Council, though, is going to look a whole lot different. Some kind of turnover coming. Newcomers are going to fill six of the nine seats on the council for the next four years. Who are they? Rod Maloney here to introduce us to the newer members of the council. Uh, new members, though, Rod, some of these are familiar faces, though. No doubt about it, Devin. And here's the thing. Take a look behind me. You get the Coleman A. Young Municipal Center, right? It's named after Coleman A. Young, the legendary mayor. Well, just under 50 years since he first took office, his son is now going to have a seat on the city council. We had a chance to talk to him about that today. I'm humbled. I'm honored. Coleman A. Young II is one of six new Detroit City Council members, a new majority if it chooses. Well, I think we're just going to have people with new perspectives. The others are political newcomer Angela Calloway, who won seated incumbent Roy McAllister Jr. Former state representative Fred Deerhole III now fills the vacant seat left by former council member Gabe Leland, who pled guilty to misconduct in office. Activist Letitia Johnson takes the Reverend Andre Spivey's seat after he pled guilty in federal court to bribery. Gabriela Santiago Romero picks up where council member Raquel Castaneda Lopez left off. She decided not to run for re-election. Former state representative Mary Waters replaces incumbent Janae Ayers, whose home the FBI raided last August as part of its probe in a towing contract wrongdoing in the city. She has not been charged with any crime. Waters previously also had her own scrape with the law involving activist Sam Riddle and alleged bribery of a Southfield city official back in 2010. She pled guilty to filing a false tax return and served a year's probation. Young believes this new council understands corruption cannot continue. And he believes, citing his 12 years in the legislature, there's a new energy and desire to truly serve the city's residents. You know, having to work with Republicans is like running into a brick wall at full speed every day. So I look forward to working with my colleagues. I think it's going to be, I think it's a breath of fresh air. I think it's promises of new beginnings. Now, Young has a long agenda, much like many of the other new members of the council. Transportation, substandard housing, flooding, of course, the issues on many people's minds. But he also wants to see more cops in the street. He also wants to see many substations and rec centers. Now, the question is, can he get that through council and up to the mayor's office? We'll have to wait and see. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Such a key ingredient, the relationship between that new council and the mayor. All right, Rod, uh, if you need to get caught up on all of the local races, we've got the results on all 200 uh, plus races across Metro Detroit. Click on Detroit.com. You'll find the link on the homepage right now.